What up, guys? Oh, that's so loud. I've been working on my loud claps. It's pretty good, right? Hey, I don't know why I do this. Why are you the way that you are? Tyler here. Welcome to Tarver Book Club. Tarver Book Club. TBC. Oh, hi. My daughter only cares to visit me whenever she knows I'm filming. Ezra, say hello. Hi. Okay. Have you read On the Moment by Carl Lentz? On the Moment? Okay. Thanks. Love you. Bye. So today we're going to be talking about On the Moment by Carl Lentz. Carl Lentz. Okay. Let's roll through our four W's. Who, what, why, where. I dropped where. Where's that in there? Where can you get it? Amazon. What? This is by Carl Lentz. Carl Lentz is an American pastor. American pastor. Jesus, we're here because we need you now. He's a pastor at Hillsong, New York, up in New York. He was a, he's a pastor of Hillsong, New York, located in Chattanooga, Tennessee. That'd be great. Come on, Hillsong, get that together. People a lot of times think pastors are thinking like, oh, you've got your, your pleated khakis and your tucked in button up shirt. Um, he's more of the, uh, the leather jacket, got tattoos, cool haircut, wears the glasses that you're not really sure if they're prescription or not. Most people think of like the generic pastor. He's not that look. And he talks a little bit about that in the book. Um, I get the same thing, you know, I dress different. You know, you wear tennis shoes and you're a, you know, a principal. People are gonna look at you like, oh, why do you wear dress like that? And well, because I like it. It shows my personality and I'm not 800 years old and feel like wearing what you wear. Breaking boundaries. We're breaking That's the musical. What? What is it? Whenever he went and did some, I saw some talk show stuff when it first came out before I read the book, how it could be like a self-help book. We are here now with Pastor Carl Lentz. He's known as the rock star preacher. He is a pastor, but it's not, um, it's not like he's trying to, to you know, uh, convert everybody uh, to Christianity. It's a book for, uh, for anyone. Labeled self-help book, but I don't know, Barnes and Noble is probably in the self-help section. Or the, uh, the, the, you know, what are they, religion section, Christianity section. Boom. Uh. On the moment, Carl Lentz. In the Christian living section, mystery solved. Why? 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 Why read it? I think that it's a great book to help you reflect on the stories that make up your life. Uh, this is not in the book. Tyler's making this up. So, Carl, if you like this, put it in, your, in the sequel. Just pay me, I don't know, 80% of the profit. I believe stories, like in the ingredients, if you're gonna make a pie, you've got ingredients. Like there's the crust, and there's, I don't know if it's apple pie, there's apples. Okay, I don't know how to make a pie. Get off my back about it. But the ingredients in something you make in a recipe, the ingredients for your life would be the stories. The stories make up your life. Your, your life is not made up of, that's where I went to high school, that's where I went to college, this is the job I had, and this is when I died. Okay, those, those aren't, shouldn't be the ingredients for your life. The ingredients for your life should be the stories that make that up. And I think this is a great book to help you reflect on what stories am I making? What am I saying yes to? What am I saying no to? To build the ingredients for my life. Again, that's a Tyler Tarver original. I'm Tyler Tarver, coming at you live. I think this book also would motivate you to make memories. If you've seen any of my, like, I know when I did that vlog for a while, I talked about this. And uh, I took this from, uh, I think Gary Vee made the quote, uh, document, don't create. Document versus create. Because when you create, it's almost like, oh, I'm gonna make this vlog, and you think of the editing process and the building of it. You're projecting something else. Document, it's more real, it's more authentic. I love to document my life, and I've talked about this before. Um, you know, when I did the vlog, it was a lot of work, but it was really cool, because now my kids can go back and watch videos from when they were like three, four, five years old, and it's like a moment in their life that, that was a Tuesday in 2015. Like we wouldn't have remembered that, but now they can watch it, their kids can watch it, their grandkids can watch it, um, and it's out there. <laughs> I do this all the time. I know I don't make vlogs near as much, but I still document like my life that's happening. So like on my phone, if I have a moment, it's just like something to pack for me or my kids are doing something or if I'm out um, at work or whatever I'm doing, I'll take a photo or record a video. My kids and I started doing like a video diary to end our day. Today we like, hey, how was your day? And we give like a one minute recap of our day. We don't send this anywhere, we don't put it anywhere unless I just unless I just put a clip in there. Uh, but it wasn't for that. It was for us to remember and they can look back and when I give my, my kids access to my Google Photos account in 15 years from now, they can go back and watch themselves growing up. How cool would it be to have records of all that? So I think he's talking about capturing the moments. He talked about having the moments. I'm telling you, why not capture them so you can remember them later? And that's mainly because I have a horrible memory. Seriously. It's like I capture with my phone because my brain is like memento. Where am I? 
Like I cannot remember anything. I need more tattoos. Maybe that's what all of Carl's tattoos are. They're memento tattoos so you can remember stuff. Huh. I have no short term memory. Wow, Christopher Nolan, you are clever. TLDR, too long, didn't read. I'm not gonna read it, I don't have time. I'm too busy, I'm writing the next great American novel or I'm you know, watching Netflix. You literally have time to watch two Fire Festival documentaries, but not time to read this book. Read the book, it's a good book. So I summarize it in a sentence. It says, Carl is friends with dope people, he articulates it well, and has personality in his right. Now, I wanna footnote that. He actually mentions in the book at the beginning how a lot of people use ghostwriters, like a lot of famous people. It's like written by, you know, Tim Tebow, but then someone else wrote it, which I don't know. Tim may have written his own book. I have no clue. Sorry about it. But a lot of famous people use ghostwriters uh, to write their book for them. They just kind of tell it to them or they audio record it and that person transcribes it and then they read it. Carl talks about it. he started out trying to use that. I think he did start trying to use it and he was just like, didn't feel like it was authentic to him. So he wrote it himself. So it's really cool because it's in his own words. You can tell it's got personality. It's different. Golden Nugget. Embrace reality. Don't live in a fake feed. Okay, that's not a line from the book. I'm not plagiarizing. I mean, I'm, that's me summarizing. That's what I'm taking away from this. And I heard somebody one time say, uh, it was a quote, I love it. I did not make this quote. I made up the last one. Didn't make this up. Don't compare your behind the scenes to someone else's highlight reel. Not many people post like, here's all the crummy things I've done lately, or here's all the not fun stuff I've had uh, in my life, and I'm gonna put it all on social media. Most people take pictures of the cool stuff, not pictures of the crummy stuff. That's their highlight reel. Don't compare you who's with you all the time. That's your behind the scenes. Don't compare that to that. Gold nugget, embrace reality, and don't live in the fake feed. Express lane. This means I'm gonna describe it in 10 words or less. Act on your moments. Pretty good. Last one, emoji. I don't know why I yelled that. I'm sorry, I got really excited. Loud noises. Emoji review, you ready? It's a camera. The camera emoji. Get your moment, capture your moment. Live a life worth telling a story about. Thanks Carl for writing the book. I brought the book. I bought the book, but I didn't bring it. Let's pretend this is the book. This is not the book. Oh, look at this book. I, oh, I left it in my office, my other office. This is not my office. Also, look at this. This is so sad. I've got like three photos that I've taped on the or just so I did with a blank wall. I need to finish this wall out. If you read the book, uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, if you agree, disagree with what I said, I'd love to hear it. What book should I read next? Stick in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, like it if you want, whatever. You know, live your life. Still live your moments. Peace. Tyler. Ow. Like a 